So we're at the Nepic Golf Day and we're on the 17th hole on the Priestman course. Just watching your second shots here. Going in with fairway wood from just off the fairway. And very nice starting position. Let's get you moving. Okay, really interesting. Uh, we've got a really nice tidy starting position. Um, everything almost nothing to fault there. Grip, stance, uh, alignments all look really good. Backswing, head was nice and still. Rotations were very good. Uh, yet we get down to impact and still things start to look a little different. A little um, uh, removed away from where we really want you at impact. You know, they'll say the moment of truth is as you strike the ball, and here we have the impact position. The club has left the ball. You see it there. Um, yeah, both foot are flat on the ground. Weight distribution looks well, maybe even right sided there. You know, maybe slightly more weight to the right than the left. Where should you be? Well, the answer most definitely is a left side. So this heel should be elevating, the knee should be moving, the hip should be coming forward and rotating, the shoulder should be coming forward. There should be much more movement towards your left side and as, he, as we see here, very static. In fact, the more and more I go through the swing, the more and more you look really stuck here. would do well, or you may well be aware that that back foot, and there's a little bit of an afterthought there, so it can move, it does move, but it's extremely late, and that just inhibits your ability to get the body in the right position for better delivery, and everything else could improve from there. Your power, your strike, your accuracy could all improve just by being more aware of how you should be moving your body. So I'd say this really could be kicked on significantly uh, if you can move this on. So let's see the next player. And we have a little awkward spot here. Just missed the bunker on the upslope. Interesting shot. So how we're going to play this? Well, there's actually two ways you could play it. You can. What you appear to be doing is using your natural angles to match the slope. You can see that there, everything is running parallel to the slope. Now the problem with that is that it it significantly increases the loft that you have on the on the club, so the likelihood is the ball is going to elevate significantly. You have obviously you have got you've got a slope that you've got to negotiate here. So you can see you don't need that much loft to to get the ball over that. So by simply by tilting to the right as you're doing here, you've now got an awful lot of loft. So my suspicion here is that yes, we'll get the ball away. Oops. We'll get the ball away, okay. But from where you are looks like a 7-iron. Let's 
going to come out more like a 9 iron. So with you falling back as well, that would also increase the elevation of the shot. Um, did you get it to the green? I'm not quite sure. I can't recall. Apologies. Um, but the other way to do that is the other way to negotiate, try and negotiate this shot if you need to get more penetration, right? a lower flighted shot because the slope naturally wants to elevate the ball is to take your weight more to the left side so get your shoulders a little bit more situated almost against the lie of the slope to help you keep the loft down um, you could also of course use a significantly stronger club two ways you can negotiate. If you needed the elevation, yes by all means keep your weight back to the right. But here I think you needed a little bit more penetration on the shot and you can see how you you fall back, that increases the loft. Um, and I think for me the outcome there was possibly be too high a shot. Maybe not quite getting the carry, but pretty good anyway. Hope you had a good day and uh, you managed to move that on. Uh, significant issue with the camera work here uh, and the bag location. Just about to play your second shot. Nice start position, very competent grip here. Good rotation like this, nice, yeah, classic look to it there, very good. Assume you can play, sir. Um, maybe just a couple of things, left arm doesn't quite look fully extended. And let's just watch this play. I think there's a lot of shift to the right. Do a good job of getting back to it. Yes, there's that left arm slightly folded again. So your recovery is good. But if you weren't too busy trying to recover from the sway off to the right, you might find it a little bit easier to keep that left arm a little bit more extended, get a bit more width there through the ball. Um, nice action though, really like that. Well done. Find the, find the fourth player. Here we go. In the deep rough. You can see the target ahead of us there. Tricky, tricky shot. Nice starting position. Aiming a little bit to the right. Working very hard there through the long grass. And remember, this was a good outcome. This one, I think the ball moved sort of in that direction and got somewhere down there by the edge of the green. So well done. Good shot. Anything we'd want to improve? Well, I don't know. Grip looks good. Posture looks good. What about? that position there. You can see how the club is having a little rest on your shoulder there. So we could do with a little bit of width there. Um, a little bit more tone and strength from the arms. Nice delivery position here. Yeah, a lot of good things going on. I would, uh, you're off the back foot, the body's opening up nicely, like this. Definitely, I think, would benefit from trying to tidy up the top of the backswing position there. Um, 
very good, very good indeed. Well done, hope you guys all had a good day and picked up some prizes along the way.